everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Courtney and in today's video I'm going to show you this Biba inspired look I love Biba makeup I think it's flattering on everybody and this is a pretty easy way I find to recreate this look with a minimal amount of products in a short amount of time and that looks great so please like and subscribe keep watching all the way through to the end and uh let's get started all right so i already did this eye because i'm going to show you how to do it on this eye and i already did kind of my skin but i'll show you the blush and everything in real time okay so the first thing i start off with is smolder eye pencil you can use any black eyeliner i like smolder because it's soft and really dark so it goes on really easy quickly. So I'm going inside the waterline, top and bottom. And then I'm going to go around. With this eye, it's a little bit lower in the outer corner. So I'm going to keep it a little tighter towards the lash line on the inner corner, and I'm going to make it a little bit thicker towards the outer corner. And it's okay if it gets a little smudgy. It all makes sense in the end. And then you're gonna apply that to the top lash line as well. A little bit thicker because you're gonna be using the pencil as your base. Leave that. And you're gonna take a fluffy brush and this is the NYX palette in Warm Neutrals. Looks like that. I'm gonna go in with this mid-tone rusty color first because even though it's more of like a smoky black shadow look you want to be able to blend it in with your with your skin and not have to depend solely on trying to blend out the black because that's going to be more of a challenge and we're trying to make things easy so this look tilts down a little bit. So you're going to apply that rusty brown closer to your eyebrow on this inner corner. Now this is just the mid-tone shade. But you are gonna go in with a darker color, so this can be a little bit more liberal. You don't wanna go too far out, but you still wanna take that and elongate the eye. Same brush, you're going to apply that to the lower lash line in that outer corner. And you're going to go a little bit onto the cheek area. Keep putting it in the long shadow. So see, it's a little bit thicker and higher here. Now with a slightly smaller fluffy brush, you're gonna dip into this darker color that's right next to it. It's a bit more of like a burgundy shade. And you're gonna go right above your crease and just make that a little bit deeper and you're adding in that little bit of a burgundy color. Do the same thing underneath, just in that outer corner outer corner of the eye. A little bit on the inner, but mainly in the outer. Done. Now you're going to smudge out that black liner. You're going to use a firmer brush. And blend that up into those other shadows, but you don't want to cover the other shadows. You just want to blend it up so that you don't see your natural skin tone between those two shades. Same brush, but instead of using the flat side of it, I'm just using the tip of it right here. And be a little bit smokier on the outer corner and bring that down. Yeah. Now you're gonna take a matte black eyeshadow same brush. Tap off the excess so that it doesn't fall onto the skin. And 
and you're just going to press that onto the lid. So wherever you put your brush down first is where it's going to apply the majority of the shadow. So you want that to be on the lid. And then what's left on your brush, you can start just tapping it up. Still following that shape, you want it a little higher on that inner corner. And you just marry those colors together. Same thing on the bottom. Now I'm tapping it, I'm not going back and forth with it because then the bristles won't flick and you won't get that fallout. That same fluffy brush that you use to, for your crease with nothing on it, just go back in and soften any hard lines that you created with that black shadow. Still following that shape. With any super black smoky eye, I like to keep it really, really black right by the lash line. So I'm going in with a liquid liner and just applying it to the lash line. It's already going to be pretty black, so it doesn't have to be perfect when you apply it. Just throw that on so it gets right into the lashes. Mascara, lots and lots of mascara. <gasps> I always have either little cat hairs or my hair on everything. I didn't fill in my brows because this look didn't really call for it. I'll show you. Oh, I already showed you the picture. Okay, that's all we need for the eyes. Oh, I did want to show you. Again, oh, not tested for the eye area usually is your black shadow, but if you want to keep that really, really dark in the inner rim, I find if you set it with that same black shadow, it'll last a lot longer and it'll look a lot blacker. So I'm just using a small brush and just dipping into that matte black and pushing it into the liner on the inner membrane. I don't know if you can see it, but it makes it a lot more intense. Perfect. Okay, blush. So with Biba makeup, it's usually a higher blush. So this is all kind of like blended together. So I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with a light pink cream blush. So the color that I'm using is this color right here. So it's peachier. So on my skin tone, it's going to be quite fair. And I'm applying it almost to the cheekbone. Oh no, I'm applying it to my cheekbone. And right underneath the shadow. They are touching. And then with what's left on your brush, you can kind of bring it down. It's also a very ethereal look. So with my highlighter, I'm going to apply it a little bit all over. This will give a really beautiful glow to the skin. So instead of doing it right on my cheekbone, I'm going to put it more on the apple and then just blend it all over. A little bit on top of the blush. Ooh, hair everywhere. That way you don't have to use a ton of different products too. You can use one product for everything. I'm putting a little bit under my brow. This also helps to blend out any hard lines too. Okay. 
So I'm gonna keep the skin like this. I'm not gonna contour or anything. I'm just gonna keep that blush positioned right underneath the eyes. And now onto the lips. The lips were very Cupid's bowy, so I'm gonna concentrate mainly on the center of the lip area. So I'm still going to connect it, but just so you can see, that's where it's going to go. I'm using a dark burgundy. This one was Black Dahlia from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, um, but any dark burgundy liner will look great. So, and now I'm going to fill in. I'm going to make it a little bit more brown, so I'm going to add in a dark brown liner. I'm just going to go over the lip line and maybe fill in a little bit on the inner corners. And then with a deep red, this is a matte liquid lipstick. This is Estee Lauder 305. I just want to pop that right in the center. That dry. Apply a second coat. And then back in with the brown. Just lightly going over it. So I want to keep the look really dark, but I do want that little pop of color. All right, so this is the final look. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's all I did. All right, that didn't take too long at all. Um, so please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you'd like to see or if you tried this makeup look and how it worked out for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.